It is a foggy morning in Omaha, Nebraska. Check out this car. Just left them on there. State flags. Out walking again this morning. And I'm gonna tell you, if you like to walk, Omaha is a fantastic place. There's positives and negatives here, I'll give them to you. So the positives are, if you like to walk, there are plenty of sidewalks, and parks, lakes, big open fields. You know, another positive is, there's not a lot of people here. <laughs> I mean, it's not crowded. There's no traffic. Now there are some negatives too. Like one of the negatives is there are some smells. Maybe that's the case in any big city, but there's some smells here. And it's pretty spread out and it's pricey. Mattress factory, but it's just the restaurant. And even at this time of morning, you would not believe how good it smells. <laughs> They're cooking something in here. I mean, it just it smells great. <laughs> Makes you hungry at 8 a.m. It's a big, uh, beautiful mural on the side of the Clearway Energy Building, which is uh, just behind TD Ameritrade. It's right up there. So there's the baseball park. This is it. Really neat. I don't know what it means, but I like it. John 8:32. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Philippians 2.13 For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to His good purpose. John 14.6 Jesus answered, this is a quote, red letters in your New Testament Bible. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So that kind of statement from Jesus that led directly to the uh, accusations against him and then his crucifixion. Because the people then especially, but even now, a lot of people, but then especially, were not ready for somebody to come along. They didn't believe he was the Messiah. And for him to say, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life and no one comes to God except through me, um, that was blasphemy blasphemy to them because they didn't recognize him for who he was. There's a very clear line. I got to be in the group of people that recognize Jesus for who he is. Full 100% belief. Because on the other side of that line are those who don't recognize him for who he is and demand that he be done away with. Which side are we on? A really nice little picnic area, party area, rest area in this park right next to this pond. It's really starting to get hot and I like it. It feels like home. That's the Missouri River. Here Thomas Jefferson's instructions to Lewis and Clark in the president's own words. June 20th, 1803. Dear Mr. Lewis, you will endeavor to make yourself acquainted peculiarities in our laws and customs. Treat them in the most friendly and considerate way.
Don't you? 